Okay then, so I've just started the waiting game and we have two days until the Kubro hatches. There's something else we want to start building as well though. I think we build it. I don't think we get given it immediately. And that is, we also want to be starting work on the Arcwing or Archwing. I don't know what the exact pronunciation of that is. I think Arcwing makes the most sense, like Archangel. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going get to get in on this. Excuse me. And then once you've got the quest activated, come into your inbox and we should see that we have it here. The Lotus is going to say some stuff to us. So it should be all good. Now we should know where we need to go. And it looks like we're going to be starting on Tessera on Venus, which I believe is the defense. Probably should have allowed for some players here. But we're just going to follow this along. Ah, that was wrong. We're actually in Oracle now. I wonder if we can get Argon crystals in here. Anyways, this is actually, I believe, a sabotage. It shouldn't be too difficult. So we keep an eye on what gets dropped in these. Okay, so we get here, this is going to be like a little, I guess, kind of a mobile defense. So we basically hack into this, have to defend it for a set amount of time, and then we'll do the same on the other side. So I might as well skip forward in there. Oh, pause power 50%. Let's move over and do the other side. Cool, both sides done. We can now enter the portal. Let's get through here. Let's go, let's go. Is it going to be the mini boss thing at the top as well? It is. This is seeming very familiar. For the record as well, I was, uh, <laughs> Because we were in the kind of void, I decided I would uh, chop a load of enemies up just to see if we do get resources. It seems like resources have been completely turned off. We don't get anything from them. Get some credits and that's about it. So, seriously, Stay just focused. skip the enemies. A heavy unit yeah, it is just one of these. Come on. Let's go. Uh -oh. No issues. Oh, the key's there. Ah, I thought it dropped from the thing. Let's get out of here. Ooh. So, back the way we came, basically. Shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, we get through. Before it melts Oops. Down. We are through the portal already. I'm surprised that's not green. Usually we extract now. I guess it's just the countdown still going. The void key and torsion beam device oh, are out of there. commission. The enemy will not be returning anytime soon. Oh, cash. Hello. That's it. Ah, I see. You found the arc arc there we go. Cool. That's phase one done. Let's see what the second one is. Oh, so again, we just do the same thing. Gonna go ahead and click on this. See whatever this next one is. Venus this time. Ah, uh, this one we have... I didn't feel like I remembered an excavation for it. But okay, this will be easy. So we've just got to guard one excavation. I guess it's almost like more just practice of what the actual game modes are. But hey, hey, cool. We'll get this done. I guess we'll record how to do this when we get there. Okay, so the way it's going to work, I'm going to put this in just because I don't think I've done an excavator mission before. And I guess if this is all you've seen of the game, I mean, you probably should have done one, but just in case... Basically, the way this works is we'll reach the point, the thing will come down, it's like a drill. And what we need are these guys here that have got the uh, power cells on their back. So you go ahead, grab that, walk near it, that'll put it in there, and that'll continue to feed it power. It also recovers the shields, so it means we only have one to do here. It's not like we need to save these for anything. We'll just stick those in there, make sure that it doesn't go down. It shouldn't take too long, because we only need to do one of these, which is going to be cool. We can extract plenty of cells coming in, that's good. Come here. But can you get any closer than that gun of yours? It's like here, look, you can see, even though it's full, I can put this in there, recover the shield, it's all good. Really shouldn't take too long. Cool, that done. Let's extract, we don't need to do any more of these. So, uh, see you guys on the other side of that, the ship. Yeah, then we're going in again. Uh, it looks like these are all going to be excavations, so we'll just get these on. Oh, that's going to be the harness blueprint. So we can get out of this one. I won't bother with the next one, I'm going to assume they're all just extractions. So, not extractions, excavations. So, uh, I'll see you guys when we've got all of the blueprints ready. Okay then, so after we've done all of our extractions and, not extractions, I keep calling it extraction, excavations, and uh, we can see everything that we have. We need one additional neuro, well I need one additional neuro. These drop on earth, so pick an endless. Now that we have some excavations available, that's probably going to be the best kind of mission to do. But just because it's better than the defense is much faster. And salvage is just naturally dropped on Mars. So that's really going to be mega easy. I'm going to go ahead and get those started now, and we will finally have our arc wing in the oven awaiting us soon. This will unlock the ability to do these missions. You see this guy here, he doesn't let me zoom in. Uh, BC says Arcwing on the end, Arcwing exterminate. Once we have got the Odin Otter built, we do need to start going on some of these missions. These will level it up a little bit and they'll start dropping the mods and all this kind of stuff. I don't know if we actually have an Arcwing weapon though. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if it gives us like a free one. Let me just have a look for a second. Ah, because we haven't built it, we don't actually have the uh, the field yet to actually look at the weapons, that's why. Cool, so we'll get that built and then we can continue on from there. Okay, so after a few minutes, and just to, I didn't kind of record it, but all you need to do is build the individual parts. They take a minute each. Ten minutes to finish off the Odinata. Now we have the Arcwing. We need to know everything they do. 
Okay, let's go get this done. Okay, so as you can see, we're just going to be following the waypoint as per usual here. This looks similar to an invasion where we have like both factions fighting each other. So we're just going to remove the board. Cool. So important in the mission then, we're going to get the Arcwing deployed. So some things to bear in mind is the controls are going to be different out here. Can't quite like turn, like, um, I don't know what the full range of motion is, it's 720 degrees out here. But A for me is up and LB, so left bumper, is down. If we tap it while we're moving forward, you can see here we can get like a burst of speed. Powers work pretty much the same, although the powers on the Odonata aren't particularly good, so um, do what you will with that. Either way, we're going to find the green here, we're going to be going to extraction. Cool, it's really simple, just follow the uh, follow the extraction points. There's a few kind of things you have to destroy on the way out. This is nice and easy though. We should now have uh, freedom with the Arco. So the next thing to do, which will probably be the next video after this, I'll try to make sure it's linked in the end screens, is get the Archwing, the Archwing launcher, should I say, so that we can then fly around these open world areas. That'll mean that we can actually start taking on some of the low level missions here, which will be good for building up standing and getting us some extra rewards. So real nice. The game is really starting to open up for us now. So that's all good.